hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to continue our lesson on polynomial functions in this video we are going to talk about the factor theorem now the factor theorem is a special case of the remainder theorem it is very useful when factorizing polynomials of higher degrees now if x minus e is a factor of the polynomial function f of x then it means that f of e is equal to zero Conversely, we say that if f of e is equal to 0, then x minus e is a factor of the polynomial f of x. So, given a question like, factorize completely the polynomial function f of x, we are going to test for the possible values of x that will make the polynomial function go to 0. So, for instance, if substituting the value 1 into the polynomial in place of x, makes the polynomial function go to 0, then it means that x minus 1 is a factor of that polynomial. Now to obtain the other factors, we are going to divide f of x by x minus 1 in order to obtain the other factors. So we are going to solve some examples on that. So we are going to solve our first question. Factorize completely x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. So to solve this problem, we are going to find the possible values of x that will make the polynomial function go to 0. So to do that, we are going to substitute any value of x to see if the polynomial function will go to 0. So let x equals 1. So we say that f of 1 so we are going to substitute the value 1 into this polynomial. So we have 1 cube minus 2 times 1 square minus 5 times 1 plus 6. Now let's simplify. 1 cube is 1. 1 squared is 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. And then we have plus 6. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So it means that f of 1 is equal to 0. Now if f of 1 is equal to 0, then it means that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x, which is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. So now we know that x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial. So because we are going to factorize completely, we need to divide f of x by x minus 1 using the long division method to obtain the other factors. So that is what we are going to do in the next step. So we have x minus 1 on the outside and then x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 under the square root. So we are going to do long division of polynomials. Now x cubed divided by x is x squared. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 1 is negative x squared. x cubed minus x cubed is 0, negative 2x squared minus negative x squared is negative 2x squared plus x squared. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So we have negative x squared minus 5x. Negative x squared divided by x is negative x. So negative x times x is negative x squared, negative x times negative 1 is plus x. Negative x squared minus negative x squared goes to 0. Negative 5x minus x is negative 6x plus 6. So negative 6x divided by x is negative 6. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. 
and then negative 6 times negative 1 is plus 6. So when you subtract the 2, you have 0. So it means that the factors of f of x are x minus 1 and then x squared minus x minus 6. So these are the factors of f of x. Now this is a quadratic function, x squared minus x minus 6. So we can further factorize this quadratic function. So to find the factors of this function, x squared minus x minus 6. Now the coefficient of the x squared term is 1. The coefficient of the constant term is negative 6. So 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. So we need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and then add up to negative 1. So we have 1 and then negative 6. We have 2 and then negative 3. So 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. So we are going to use this pair. So this becomes x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 6. x comes out and then we have x plus 2 inside the bracket minus 3 into bracket x plus 2. So we have the factors as x minus 3 x plus 2. So these are the factors of x squared minus x minus 6. So it means that the complete factors of the polynomial f of x are x minus 1, x plus 2, and then x minus 3. So by this, we've been able to completely factorize the polynomial f of x. Now let's solve another example. So in our second question, we are going to factorize completely f of x, which is equal to x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 8. So like we did in the previous example, we are going to find the possible values of x that will make f of x go to 0. So let x equals 1 then it means that f of 1 is equal to 1 cube minus 1 square plus 2 times 1 minus 8. So 1 cube is 1, 1 square is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, and then we have negative 8. So 1 minus 1 is 0, plus 2 is 2, 2 minus 8 is negative 6. So since f of 1 is negative 6, it means that x minus 1 is not a factor. of f of x. So we need to check for another value of x. So let x equals 2. Therefore f of 2 is equal to 2 cube minus 2 square plus 2 times 2 minus 8. 2 cube is 8. 2 square is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. And then we have negative 8. So 8 minus 8 is 0. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So it means that f of 2 is equal to 0. Now, since f of 2 is equal to 0, it follows that x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. Now, since x minus 2 is a factor of the polynomial f of x, we are going to perform long division to find the other factors. So we have x minus 2 outside and then x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 8 under the square root. So x cubed divided by x is x squared. x squared times x is x cubed. 
and then x squared times negative 2 is negative 2 x squared x cubed minus x cubed is 0 negative x squared minus negative 2 x squared is negative x squared plus 2 x squared so negative 1 plus 2 is 1 so we have x squared plus 2 x x squared divided by x is x x times x is x squared x times negative 2 is negative 2 x so x squared minus x squared is 0 2 x minus negative 2 x is 2 x plus 2 x which is 4 x minus 8 now 4x divided by x is 4 and then 4 times x is 4x 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 now when you subtract the 2 you have 0 so the factors of the polynomial function f of x are x minus 2 and then x squared plus x plus 4 now x squared plus x plus 4 is a quadratic function which cannot be factorized. Hence, it is appropriate we leave our answer in this form. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.